to show you how to create a simple assemble to order sales order in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm going to create a sales order. It's going to have an item on it that's an assemble to order item. I'm going to make a couple component changes so you can see that. And then we'll go through the setup. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is start a new order. Let's select a customer here. Go with this one here. The item I want to use is a bundle of a conference table and several conference table chairs. So let's look up that item. This item is an assembly item. Plus it's an assemble to order assembly item, which basically is a sales kit, which means it gets put together at the time of the sale, just before the order goes out the door. There's no pre-assembly that's needed for this type of item. I'm going to ship it out of this site here and I'm just going to have one bundle. My customer said he wanted to substitute two of the chairs for a different style of chair. So I can easily do that within the sales order right here. I'll go to line, go to related information, go to assembly to order, and then to the lines. These are the standard lines that are in the assembly item. And what my client wants, he wants to take two of these away here. So I'll change this to six and he wants to add a new item. Let's look up that item. He wanted this item here, so I'll put that on the order. And he wants two of those. So what I've done is just change the components of this assembly item or this sales kit. But I also want to roll up the cost in this. So if I go back to line, related information, I'm going to keep the price at what it is, $2,500, but I'm going to roll up the cost. Now in the background, an assembly order has been created for this particular order, but it's automated through this process here. And this order is pretty much done. Once the item's put together, once it's ready to go out to the customer, I can just post this item. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to ship and invoice it. And I'm done with that order. Let's take a quick look at two setup items. One is the item itself. This is the item here that I just sold. If I go down to the replenishment quick tab, I've got two settings that make this easy to work with. One is this replenishment system here is set to assembly. I scroll down a little further. Assembly policy is set to assemble to order. The other option is assemble to stock, but this is assemble to order, which allows me to put it together on the fly in a sales order. And it's created kind of like a sales kit and that's put together right before it goes out to the client. So that's one setup. A minor setup is the assembly setup. And this is simple. All you really need to do is set up these numbers here for the assembly numbers, the quote numbers, and the posted assembly numbers. This will make the system work as easily as I just showed you. I created a sales order with an assemble to order item on it. I looked at the lines, I changed out two of the components, and that was it. Mm -hmm.